Hello everyone, Gameshark here, and today I am doing another farm project, which involves me turning my whole entire farm into a specific crop or item on a massive scale to see how much money and profit I can gain. Today's farm project involves pumpkins. I'll be planting my farm field full of pumpkins throughout the whole duration of fall, and then once I have harvested these crops, I'm going to turn them into pumpkin juice by placing them into the kegs. I will only have the season of fall to finish this project. Pumpkin seeds cost 100 gold each from Pierre's general store and take a full 13 days to grow. I will not be using speed growth for this project as one or two huge fields will be enough to create massive amounts of juice. Also I will not be using quality fertilizer in this project as the quality of the pumpkin doesn't matter because once placed into the keg it will lose its value as you can only get normal quality juice. Pumpkin juice will take 6,000 minutes in game to produce, which is 4 days, and its sell price will be 720 gold without the artisan profession, but today I will be selling the pumpkin juice with the artisan profession, which makes artisan goods sell for 40% more, meaning my juice will sell for a huge 1,008 gold each. So, now that you've heard some information about pumpkin juice, let's get straight into today's huge farm project and earn some money! As always, you have just seen in the background whilst I was talking, me preparing the farm ready for the pumpkin seeds to go into the ground. We got rid of the weeds and the stones and the rocks, we have tilled all of the soil, placed all of the seeds into the soil and there was over 2,000 and then we gave them all of water and I managed to do all of this in the very first day of fall which has given us lots of time to make the juice. But we can't start making juice until the pumpkins have fully grown. So I will sleep for 13 days until they are ready to be harvested and then start turning the vegetables into the juice. So I'll skip ahead and I'll see you when the first load of pumpkins are ready to be picked. And here we go. Throughout the 13 days that I was skipping, I had to play scarecrows because the crows was coming in numbers. You know, they was ready for me this time. Me and them crows, we have a battle going on. And there were so many, they brought an army. So all the places where they ate the seeds, I just placed the scarecrow, just because. It saves a few more pumpkins from dying. And as you can see, we do have some giant pumpkins on the farm. Obviously with pumpkins, there's a 10% chance, chance for a crop to turn into a giant crop. And as you can see, there's a little pattern going on. They're going in diagonals, okay? So this is just basically the day they're grown. I mean, if I could, if I leave these a few more days, we'll probably get more giant crops, which is pretty good. But we need to obviously start collecting these to put in the kegs. Now, I have got barns and sheds full of kegs, so we've got plenty of them to start turning into the juice. But I'm going to have to start collecting some of these right now, at least, to get in there. I'm not going to collect all of them. I'll collect just maybe... A few hundred just for the first lot of pumpkin juice and then that's going to give time for the rest of the seeds to turn into a giant crop. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to collect all of these. I can actually use the scythe, it's a mod that I've installed into the game. Obviously I don't think that's going to work with the giant ones, you've got to use the axe. So I'm going to start collecting a few of these which is going to be nice and fast and then we'll start turning these into the juice. We'll save the giant ones for now and hopefully some more appear as well. So I'll skip the process. I'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah, I should be happy for the man. Yeah, I should be happy for the man. Ain't got a plan, but I know where I stand. Smoking a gram, I'm trying to make a grand. Yeah, bills in my fist, girls on my list. I curve the thirst, hit the gist. Yo, check the wrist, check the wrist. I ain't got time for the time that you missed. All black, HM. I know you out here hating him. Yo, city, yes, I'm invading them. I see my team, you ain't phasing them. You can try though, try though. Hit you with the text, feel the high low, high low. Hold it down like a silo, silo. Girl in the back, she from the 9 -oh. Yeah, she's from the 9 -oh. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna literally harvest this amount, okay? There's about 600 and something pumpkins here. That's gonna be enough to start off a few pumpkin juices, okay? And obviously, I'm gonna leave the rest of this side of the farm a few days. Obviously, we're going to get more chance of getting the giant ones too, which do double the amount of pumpkins you get, which is nice. So hopefully we do get a few more. We don't need to harvest all of these as of yet. We've got plenty. So now I'm going to start chucking these into the kegs. I'll show you the barns and sheds that we've got. Okay, so this is the barn full of kegs. So now we're going to start putting these 
pumpkins into here. That's going to be one big amount of juice. And then also I've got two or three sheds as well, which is full of kegs. So it's going to be quite nice. Once I put all these into here, I'll, I'll skip four days ahead and show you the first harvest of pumpkin juice we get. See how many we get in total. And obviously I'll keep repeating the process. Putting the harvesting the pumpkins, putting them into the kegs, collecting the juice and doing that all the way through fall. We've only got half of the season left. So hopefully we can make at least a good amount of pumpkin juice. Maybe a thousand I'll be happy with, you know. So let's see how many we can get, guys. I'll skip the process so it's not too boring for you. Okay, there we go. The last shed is full. Completed. We've got all of the pumpkins in there right now. What I am trying to do is save all of the gold pumpkins. Try not to put them into the kegs if possible. Because if there is any pumpkins left over at the end of this project, I will be selling all of the pumpkins as well as the juice. Because obviously it is part of the project. So if we try and save as many gold ones as possible, just put the silver and the normal quality into the kegs. We're going to make a little bit more money as well. So in total, there's probably 300 and something kegs there. Because we've got about 300 and something pumpkins left. So we've got enough to to use for the next lot of pumpkin juices in four days so now i'm going to go to sleep guys wait for the pumpkin juice to be completed we'll collect them all see how much there is in total completely i think it's about 300 and something and then we'll put the second lot in there and then i'll skip through obviously see if we get any more giant pumpkins also collect a lot of this pump we've got so many pumpkins to collect still it's, it's ridiculous so much but i'm going to sleep now for four more days so that's going to be the 18th and let's see if the pumpkin juice is ready Okay guys, I've actually skipped through three days, I've been checking, and they are ready apparently, so I'm not sure why they're done early. I thought it took four days to grow, but this was three I believe, so I'm just going to collect them all now, and I'm going to test it out properly and see how many days it is from today, so let's get collecting all this. I'm, I'm shocked that it's here, so let's just, let's get it anyway, because I don't think that's four days, so I think that's wrong. Let's try it again. Okay guys, so... All of the pumpkin juice is collected, and I was just wrong, it's just under 300 per every, every 3 or 4 days, I believe. So now I'm going to sleep a few more days. I'm going to actually test when the pumpkin juice is ready, because that definitely wasn't 4 days. So I'm going to count from the 17th, so this is 1 day, and let's, uh, let's, let's test this properly. Okay, so confirmed it's actually 3 days, not 4 days. So I said 4 days at the start of the video, but it actually totals up to 3 full days for the pumpkin juice to be ready. So that is awesome. We're going to get some more on the 23rd, some more on the 26th, and then some more on the 1st of winter. So we'll sell everything on the 1st of winter because we'll be able to get one more harvest. But what I'm actually going to do is collect some of these pumpkins first. Let's see if we've got any more giant ones too. Okay, we've got 2 more up here above there straight away. Okay. Definitely a few more has appeared down there. But over to this side, there is none. Nothing over this side, okay. Okay, so we've collected a few more pumpkins. It's going to be enough for a few more days. So let's get back into the sheds and barns and get some more pumpkin juice on the go. I know I made you smile when I texted. And I know I'll do better than your ex did. I'm crushing on you, I think you guessed it You're crushing on me, but you still won't confess it So let me know, let me know when you're ready I'll navigate us, and I'll keep it steady Girl, you're so bad, you're the best I've ever had I'ma take it as far as you let me Okay guys, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna sell all of these pigs And I'm gonna use this barn to fill out with more kegs, okay? That way we can get a lot more pumpkin juice before fall ends so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to use this barn to my advantage we're going to want to, want to create as much as we possibly can to get that money so goodbye piggies we can always get them again but for now pumpkin juice is important more important should i say let's get some kegs okay guys this barn is finally full. I've messed up with the layout a little bit, I think, but I'm not too bothered, to be honest. As long as I've got some more kegs, I don't really care. So now I'm going to get some more of these in here. It's going to, I don't know how many is in here, maybe 100 or so. So it's going to give us, you know, a big amount of pumpkin juice towards the end of the season. So it's nice. So now I'm going to skip forward, guys. Collect the rest of the pumpkin juice for today's harvest. Put more pumpkins into the kegs. And I'll see you when we've got more process to show you. Right, guys, I have played through to the first of winter. This is the last chance to harvest all of the pumpkin juice. Now, I've hid it off the screen, so you can't see it in the bottom of the drop bar in the inventory, so you guys can't start working out how much we're gonna get, okay? So it's a surprise. We've literally used all of our pumpkins. We've only got the gold ones left. I've cleared all of the field. We've got no more pumpkins left, except for the giant ones. So we've still got some giant ones left on the farm. Once we've collected all of the pumpkin juice, we'll use our axe, collect all of these giant ones and sell those too. So let's go and collect the last of the pumpkin juice. Ok 
Okay, so that is all of the pumpkin juice collected. You guys can't see how much we've got in total right now. It is off screen. It is in the. It is in my inventory somewhere. The total amount. Oh, and look at this. We've got a cheeky one right there. So now I'm going to get rid of all of these giant pumpkins with the axe. And then we can sell all of these as well as the pumpkin juice, which is obviously part of the project. So it all adds up. And there you have it. All the giant ones are gone. We've got 348 just from the giant pumpkins it's incredible man so now guys we're just gonna go ahead and sell everything i'm not gonna show you this part of me chucking the bin because then you'll start adding up the pumpkin juice guys this is a surprise i'll show you at the end and i'm being cheeky today okay so the pumpkin juice has gone in now we're gonna put all of the pumpkins in there too we're ready guys start putting your guesses in there you probably haven't got a clue right now I don't have a clue to be honest. So let's do this. The most exciting part of a farm project is the end. All of the hard work, all of the effort, obviously these take me a long time to create guys. I'm not complaining because I love it, especially when you see the outcome of the money. So let's do this. Ooh, wow, just hit 2 million. That is insane. I was expecting at least just over 1 million would have been nice. But guys, just over 2 million for pumpkin juice. Let's break it down. Let's see how much we got in total. So obviously we got one lot of 999, which sold just over 1 million. And then obviously we got another second batch of 751. That is in one month, guys. One season all the way through fall. We just made ourselves 2 million. I recommend you to try this project. If you are stuck and you don't know what to do in fall, create pumpkin juice. It is so valuable. Obviously, you're only spending 100 per pumpkin for the seed. You're getting, obviously, 1,000 back from the pumpkin juice. It takes a while, obviously. I could have even carried on doing this all the way through winter with the rest of the pumpkins that I had. You know, I could have made, I could have doubled the amount. But, like I said, it's only a one season project, guys. And we just made ourselves just over 2 million which is insane i'm buzzing about that one hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys enjoyed another farm project you seem to love these kind of videos i've got more coming up the next one i'm doing will be starting straight after this one because we're going to use it in winter which we've already missed one day which is annoying but it doesn't matter that is fine if you've enjoyed it guys hit that like button and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of stardew valley fun farm project videos i've done a lot on the channel i put a playlist link in the description if you want to go and check them out i have done all sorts from coffee to beer anything you can think of i've done so many they're always fun but till then guys thank you for watching i've been game shark and i will see you on the next one now, I can't believe what I see Bunch of people brainwashed and they're thinking they free We need the best clothes that our money can buy Just so we can post a picture on the gram like yeah Like what the fuck is the matter? Man, that logic is wrong We've been focused on this dumb shit for way too long So we missed the real picture when we're glued to our phone It's like the system wants to make a generation of clones So we can all stay within their lines in reality